to my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do a very regress video. It's a video where the makeup is more just to male. Today we're gonna be doing this um, vampire, evil vampire, very angry vampire. We're gonna be learning how to apply modeling wax and also to do this very, very easy fangs and they're really realistic. So if you wanna know how we do this, keep on watching. I'm going to apply first my lens because my eyes get very watery when I do so and I don't want to ruin my makeup and then I'm going to cover my eyebrows just brushing a stick glue or upwards a couple of times and then I'm going to be using a prosthetic glue to glue the wax which is a material we're going to be using for the prosthetic effect and apply, place this glue and um, tap it a little bit to activate it then create an almond shape type of thing uh, with wax and place it on top hold it for a few seconds and when make a remover in your hand start smoothing out the area with the wax until you create this almond shape that goes upward in diagonal shape from the front part of the eyebrows create a new eyebrow gonna do exactly the same technique in the other eyebrow and also on the temples creating this vein in flame effect way to really hold on the wax is to apply a little bit of liquid latex on the borders but once you apply liquid latex it's a little bit hard to place color on top so I'm gonna leave the liquid latex to the finish to the last part and don't worry if the wax start sticking out and moving around while we're doing the makeup don't worry create the entire makeup and then at the end stick a little bit of liquid latex on the borders now we're gonna just create a uniform face by applying concealer and foundation all over the face for this makeup I'm going to be using alcohol activated colors because once they dry they don't move with sweat and water and anything and they look really realistic and you just have to add different amounts of alcohol to create thick color or loose and translucent color so I'm gonna be adding some orange some red and also some purple around the forehead and the prosthetic I'm gonna concentrate the red and the purple on the new eyeshadow areas which is underneath of the brow prosthetic and also on the on the side of the temple prosthetic and blend it the color and then take a brush with just alcohol and blend it to integrate into your skin and once we have all the shadows down we're gonna start creating some depth on the cheated area all the way until the lid and also up to the new brow I'm gonna apply some color and then blend it with just an empty brush no color just alcohol to give some depth to the teared area by applying some brown and also black eyeshadow and blending into the lid and also up to the new prosthetic brow and also we're gonna do the same mixture on the hollows of the cheeks and work it out.
give a more realistic effect on the forehead, add a little bit of color with just a little bit of the red and ton of alcohol. We're gonna do exactly the same around the nose and we're gonna also go through the bridge of the nose and to give an effect of blood on the corners of the mouth, I'm gonna do it with a little more intense color. Now let's create the fake fans, take fake nails with no color in it, measure to the teeth that you're gonna place into it and then point the corners of it to create a pointed end. Then take a dental glue, stick it on the back, clean up or dry out the teeth where you're gonna place it and hold it for a few seconds. I have a no transparent glue and it shows off so I have to paint the teeth, otherwise it won't sew and it will look amazing and last long. Well guys, I hope you like this makeup tutorial that you put it on practice. If you do so, please send me a picture of my social networking, just find it in there. Thanks so much for spending some time with me every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 5pm. Be happy and see you next one. Ciao!